Hello and good morning. We're in week 10. We're getting ready to finish chapter 10. Let's take a look here. Uh, write the formula as well. On this one, the vertex, and that's the key. Where is the vertex? This one is in the center. And so let's take a look. So angle Y is equal to arc X. They're the same thing. This one is on the circle, so angle Y is equal to half of whatever arc X is. This one is outside the circle, so angle P is equal to one half big arc minus little arc. Now some people are like, that's an N. Nope, that stands for the arc. So write that down. This one right here is not the center of the circle, but it's inside the circle. So angle P is equal to half of the sum of the two arcs. So this one, you add them. This one, you subtract them. And those are the four formulas so far. So let's work this problem. You have to know, on a new sheet of paper, draw that diagram. You have to know where the vertex is. And if you look, the vertex is on the circle. So since the vertex is on the circle, we're going to say the angle, which is all of this, is equal to half of the intercepted arc. Well, half of 90 is 45. So now you're going to subtract 10 and divide by 5. So when you subtract 10, you get 35. And when you divide by 5, you get 7. So x equals 7. Now the angle would be 5 times 7 is 35 plus 10, which is 45. And we should know that anyway, because it's half of 90. All right, let's move on. There's two more formulas we're going to learn today. Draw these two diagrams right here and make it a little smaller. Okay, these are dealing with segments, not angles. Okay, so this is the cross. So these two go together. So I'm going to use different colors. The green go together. So draw a straight line and put 7 times 12. And then the aqua go together. So put 14 times x. And then to solve this, you just divide by 14. So get your calculator. These are easy. This is called the cross. I call this one the cross problem. Okay? So it's going to be 7 times 12. Press equals divide by 14. And you get 6. So this segment here is 6 inches. Okay, let's take a look at this next one. Draw this one. This one's on the outside, okay? But it's, again, it's segments and not angles. So the formula is the outside piece, which is 6. So it's outside piece, which is 6, times the whole thing. And the whole thing is 6 plus x equals the outside piece times the whole thing, which is 5 plus 7. That's it. And then you got to work it out. So this one's going to be 6x. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 6x. This one's going to be 12. So 5 times 12 is 60. Okay? And now you're going to subtract 36 and then divide by 6. And you're done. So remember, outside times the whole thing. So 60 minus 36 divided by 6, and I get 4. X equals 4. And there it is, and that's how you do it. So say it to yourself, outside times the whole thing. All right, so those are six of them, and there's one more that I need to teach you, but I'm not going to show you on today's lesson. It might be on the worksheet, just so you know. And finally, 
we're going to turn our attention to MCR. And MCR, we're doing factoring. Now, pay attention to this factoring here. All right, here's what you do. First of all, you always try to factor something out. I cannot factor anything out. Actually, no, I can take a 3 out. 3 times 2, 3 times 9, 3 times 5. So I can take a 3 out, and I almost missed that. So you got to take a 3 out. So it's going to become 5n squared minus 9n minus 2, which makes it easier. So now you're going to multiply 5 times 2 and get 10. You're going to look at your signs, a negative and a negative yields a plus and a minus. So you're going to be subtracting to get 9. Well, the only thing that's going to subtract to get 9 is this. 10 minus 1 is 9. So on this part right here, that 3 is going to be part of your answer. So let's not forget it. I'm going to write it right here. Okay, so I don't forget it. Because chances are I would. So you're going to rewrite the first one. And you're going to rewrite the last one. And then you're going to substitute the 1 in and the 10 in. And since the middle one is a minus, that's going to go here and the plus goes here. It goes with the bigger one. So here you're going to factor out an n, and you're left with 5n plus 1. Here you're going to factor out a negative 2, and you're left with 5n plus 1. Both of these are in common, so you're going to take out a 5n plus 1, and you're left with an n minus 2. And that's how you do today's worksheet. Today's worksheet is right here. Worksheet C. All right, so if you have any questions, make sure you ask. That's going to wrap it up. Have a good morning.